All right, Perry, I have an early offer here for you, and you're going to have to think about this one, whether or not you want to take it. Uh, the Francis Project is offering $100 for you to call Kenny and tell him the 92 story. That is done with! No fucking more! Get the fuck out of here! There's no need to sell that goddamn story again, motherfucker! Well, is a monetary value associated with no! this? Fucking way! All right, but you did say you would do it for funds. Again! No fucking way! All right, listen, I, I think there's probably a good notion to not do it because things are a little uh, strained right now with you and your brother, so that's probably a, a good reason not to. I don't give a fine fuck how much money you offer to fucking pay for the 92 fucking story. Fucking asshole. Go fuck yourselves. Oh, fucking make me sick. This is a combo offer. This is when two people out there in the community uh, get together to team up for one big offer. Now this is $200, okay? Again, 200, all right? So all that, all that time you were off, this is a way to kind of recoup that uh, expense. What now? All you gotta do is call Kenny and tell him the 92 story, the whole story. Go hang up on me. If he does, he does, but you can but you can try it. You can say, Kenny, I don't want to talk to you about anything else going on, but I got to tell you what happened to me in 92. And I'm not doing it anymore. I, there's no doubt. Yeah, but, but, you, but, you said, but, but you said you would do it for pay, and this is a good pay. This is a good payday. Uh... Let's at least try it. I'm going to say, now listen, I'm going to say this, Okay. If Perry does this and goes through with the call and Kenny answers, he will get the story out. But if Kenny hangs up, we can't control that. I still think Perry uh, has done the deal. Now I'm going to say offer accepted on that. But now you got to call Kenny on the camera phone and turn on the speaker and make sure I don't go over the speaker, the Bluetooth speaker. <laughs> Hey Kenny. Yeah. It's Barry. I got I got to I got to fill you in on what happened to me in 1992. Okay? Ken? What? I, I I answered an ad in the Penny Saver back in 1992. All right, I go into this guy's office, we interviews me and shit, and he sends me on a film set. All right? So I I go and I do the film shoot and and uh it was it was a billboard ad, ad for Alvarado Hospital in San Diego. So, so are, are you with me right now? Yeah. Okay. So 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 uh, I, I I see and meet a bunch of beautiful girls on set, and there was one real sweet Shannon Duarte look like chick there, that uh, her and I were kind of hanging out together uh, most of the evening, but uh, in the meantime, while I'm hanging with her, I'm also hugging and kissing a bunch of other girls on set. And uh, and then uh, it, it's it's time to leave, so uh, I, I'm I'm about ready to leave, and and uh, she runs up to me and asks me, you know, how to how to get back to the freeway. So I tell her to follow me. So I get up onto the freeway on ramp, I pull over, and I check with her to see if she's okay, knowing where she's going. And then I went to reach into her car to give her a kiss on the cheek goodbye. And she moved her body all the way over to the passenger side of the car and kind of scared out of her wits, thinking that I'm going to rape her, which was completely stupid. So, so, so are you with me with this? I don't know what you're talking about. Go ahead. So uh, I, I go home. I go to bed. I go to sleep. About 10 a.m. the next morning, I get this phone call from this guy named Randy Callahan, who was the casting director at the time. 
He tells me that I'm in deep shit, that I got to get into the office immediately. So I, so I get get up, I wash my face, get dressed, I go into the office immediately, right? So I go into the office immediately, and uh, the guy stares at my crotch. And I'm silent for a few seconds, or a, few, or a couple minutes, okay? He's staring at my crotch, and he's not saying a word. And then I, then I look him eye to eye, and I go, I am not sucking your dick. He looks at me, and he goes, well, if you don't suck my dick, then I suck yours, and I'll get you on a film set with uh, Christina Applegate uh, tomorrow. So I thought about it, and I let him do it. <clears throat> let him blow me. And after I let him blow me, I uh, had to jerk him off. It was disgusting, but that that's 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 basically how I got into show business. Yeah. So what are you telling me all that for? Because I was paid to do it. You were paid. So so what is my percentage of the land sale? Because you used my main my my uh, name for all these years. I used your name for all these years? Yeah. Exactly. I didn't use your name for all these years. I set it up for a, uh, uh, what do you call it? Um, oh, God. I'm entitled to a percentage, okay? You're not entitled to anything. This was set up <sighs> in case I passed away. There would be some money for your mother okay. and you. Any yeah. judge would side with me. Okay? Sue me. Goodbye. Sue you. Goodbye. Okay, you're getting sued. <laughs> he hung up on me, so he's getting sued. Well, now I am suing him. Because he's going to be a fucking cheap, low-life piece of dog shit. Not wanting to be a kind brother to his baby bro to his Kind brother to his baby brother. Okay. Um, that, and by the way, that's uh, Spanish Flutie and uh, Francis Project combined for that offer. Thank you. Um, had you ever told Kenny that story before? Nope. Oh, so that was a that was the first time. I'm surprised he hung, he really hung in there.